Welcome back to another workshop build video. I went ahead and tested out the insulation and paneling with this one piece here. And today I'm going to be bringing you along for two more panels. And then uh, I'll probably do the rest by myself without you, but uh, very exciting to get this step started. My friend gave me about six of these panels here and uh, I had to buy the insulation from a local hardware store, but because it's two by four walls, I'm doing R13, so, uh, and of course, 15 inch on the center. Before I get this insulation put in here, I want to make sure that my two by fours are clean, so I'm not trapping any dust and sawdust down here. This is as good a spot as any to start, so you get a measurement here. Uh, 35 and a half. Now I found that it's nice to have at least a half inch more than this, so I'm going to cut it at 36 inch. This is going to be my insulation cutting station here. It's pretty simple. I've just got a single board here and then two small pieces. So I can uh, put the insulation on top of this and press it down with these and then cut uh, down there because if you let this stuff get fluffed out, it's really difficult to cut. So when I built the tiny house, the rolls were uh, 32 feet, I think, and this one is 94 feet long. So. There's a lot more to this roll than I'm used to. I calculated the price difference, and this one gives you somewhere around six feet more um, if you were to buy two of the other ones. So, actually works out pretty good. So, what I want to do here is get the ball part uh, stretch out this way. Huh, interesting. This may actually come in sections. Well, that's different. I'm not sure I like that because I might run into times where it's uh, kind of smaller pieces that I don't really need. Oh well, we'll work with it. So we want to find 36 inches here, which is going to be right here. So, got that marked down. Get that lined up on the center of my board. I'm going to take these two and press this insulation back down. And then I'm able to just take my razor and cut down pretty simply here. There we go. Alright. I wonder if I should let that fluff out for a moment. It's kind of uh, thin. I'm going to take this and just give it a light shake facing downward here. Kind of fluff the insulation a little bit. Gives it a, a lot more volume there. Now, just want to position this so that it covers the hole completely. I'm going to fold out these little tabs and put a staple on the four corners to hold everything in place. Now this little side right here is certainly not going to be a full panel. Looks like I need to cut a 7 inch for this by, should be 36, yeah, 7 by 36. I cut this to 36 inch and 7 inches is close enough to half that I'm just going to cut this right down the middle. Okay. Flip this around so Get the other side here. It's kind of tedious, but it's not really that difficult. All right. There we 
we go. So this piece does not have the flap on this side once we cut it off. Um, so I just have to use this one side to keep it in there. Oh, I should definitely fluff this first. It's starting to fluff out pretty good there. This spot's going to require a little bit more work. I've got a scrap piece here that I'm going to be stuffing behind this box to give it a little bit of insulation value back there. And then I've got this panel here, which I'm going to want to cut out just a chunk here for the box, and that can also be stuffed back there. So I'm going to measure out here around the box. So I'm going to cut a little bit um, in from the box to give uh, room to just spread this out a little bit. Come back about right here. So we can cut that piece out. Okay, here's my little box that I need to cut out. So I'm just going to push that down and slice through that. Okay, I'm just going to stuff the rest of that little piece back there. And then hopefully this cut was made at the right spot. Looking pretty good there. I managed to get insulation in all of these sections here. So now it's time to measure out the size panel I need. So from the edge of the door over here, I've got 44 and a half. So if I did 44 and a quarter down there, uh, same thing. So I'm going to cut a piece down at 44 and a quarter inches. Just finished getting the panel cut. So now I need to find out this box dimension here and how far away it is from this wall and from the floor and up top and all that good stuff uh, so that I can cut this out. Don't have any really good tools with me today to cut this but uh, we'll use the router and that should be good. So I need to go up from the bottom 47 and a half and then from the edge of the wall over here needs to go uh, seven inches. I'm gonna measure from the bottom of this panel here and go up 47 and a half and just put a mark. And then I wanna go in seven at that point. From this bottom corner here, I'm gonna mark out at three and then go up by four and a half. I'd like to use the router to get most of this cut out, so I'm just going to put a hole in here first to uh, get the router started. There. I've never actually used a router for this before, so we're going to see how well it works. Let's try a plunge cut here. Yeah, it's going to be a bit quicker. Just got that hole cut there. It looks like I could have done a little better measuring out here, but honestly, I think it's going to be just fine. So I'm going to line up all the edges here and get this uh, installed. And I'm going to be using uh, some more of these exterior screws, which I already have them, so I might as well use them, right? Uh, 
Now I'm going to be using some trim boards eventually to fill in these gaps like that one. Um, that'll be a while from now. Okay. And there we have it. One panel installed with insulation behind it. Looking nice. Now I definitely could have done a little better at measuring the top of this box here, as you can see. And I had to uh, modify down here just a bit, but I think it's gonna work just fine. It's nice to have these two panels installed. Next I'm gonna work over here and get one more, and that should give me uh, plenty of space to start stacking these ram pump boxes. Now, I'm planning on making shelves here because this back corner will eventually be um, dedicated to building and uh, assembling ram pumps. So I'll have shelves for each of the components to keep them all separate, help me uh, realize what stock I'm low in so I can reorder. So I look forward to that project sometime in the future. Thanks for watching. If you've got any great tips or suggestions for insulation work, please write those down in the comments below because I'm sure I will still be working on this when this video comes live. So thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land of House. I will see you in the next video. Bye.